Hi, thanks for joining. This is a short demo on how to use Google Classrooms with CodeMonkey. So um, this integration is available for teachers who use Google Classrooms um, and they would need to log into CodeMonkey using their Google um, account, using the Google single sign-on option. And with this integration, um, after logging um, using uh, Google, um, as a teacher, you are able to import your Google Classrooms onto CodeMonkey with the students um, in them, of course. Um, and you will continue to manage your student roster on Google Classrooms. Um, you'll have option to access all the classroom features, um, but managing your student list will um, continue to be through Google Classroom. Um, with this integration, you're also able to post coding adventure assignments to your Google Classrooms. Uh, there's currently no full integration with Google Classroom assignments um, or any stream functionality. Um, so I'll show you that um, later on. Uh, your students, after you've imported your classroom, they'll be able to log in to CodeMonkey um, using their um, Google accounts. Um, and uh, once you've imported your classrooms, your studi students already um, belong to their classroom, so they don't need to do any action to, to join it um, themselves. So let's start. So I'm going to sign up um, to CodeMonkey using my Google account. So just make sure you use the Google account with which you are using Google Classrooms. Um, I'm going to click on Google single sign on. So I'm going to choose the Google button here. And I'm going to choose the account that I use that I'm going to use for this purpose. That's where I have my Google Classrooms. Great. So a few things I need to um, fill in here before I proceed. And now I have signed up to CodeMonkey. I've created my teacher account. Let's choose my avatar. As a new teacher, I get a 30 days trial um, with an option to add up to 30 students um, with access to some of our content. Um, I already have an example classroom which I can check out, but what I'd really like to do is import my students so they can start accessing CodeMonkey. So I'm gonna click on create new classroom and I can either create a classroom or I can choose to import my classrooms from Google. So I'm just going to choose that option. And first thing I need to do is to give CodeMonkey permissions to access uh, my Google Classrooms by clicking on Connect um, with Google Classroom. And you would only need to do this once. And if you won't give um, this permission, then you will not be able to import your classrooms. And it shows you what these authorizations allow to um, view your Google Classrooms, view your um, roster, um, and I'm going to click on Allow, and I can now continue to import my classroom. So clicking again on Import from Google, and now I have the option to choose my classroom. So this drop-down menu would only give me classrooms that I manage on um, Google Classroom. So if you want to import your colleagues classroom, you first need to make sure that they add you as a teacher um, onto these classrooms. Okay, so I'm going to choose a classroom. Uh, next up, I'm going to choose the subscription I want to connect this classroom to. This would uh, determine what type of access my students get. So for now, I'm going to connect them to my teacher trial because that's the only um, access I have as a new teacher. Um, and that's really the default here. And I'm going to click on create my classroom. Great. So my classroom has been imported. I can see the classroom right here um, in my classrooms list. Uh, if you want to import additional classrooms, you would need to uh, do that uh, just repeat the action again and uh, choose the classroom you would like to import. Great, so I'm going to click on the classroom. 
and go to the students tab just to see the students that were imported along with the classroom and just one student um, that's the student who i have in my google classroom as you can see i can't really do any actions because like i said you would manage your roster through google classroom you can see this sync classroom button on top so anytime you make any changes to your roster on google classroom just click the sync button and it will sync the roster also on code monkey if you're looking to um, add additional teachers to your classrooms on code monkey just um, scroll down here under co-teachers you're able to import um, additional teachers as co-teachers on your classroom. Basically, um, they would have um, access to the classroom dashboard um, and um, access to the courses as well. Um, you would click here to choose the teacher you would like to add um, as a co-teacher, and you would need to first make sure that they are added as teachers to this classroom on Google Classroom. That's the only way for you to be able to choose them here at the drop down menu. If there aren't any teachers, then you won't see a teacher here. So I'm going to click and click on import co teacher and uh, the co teacher was added. They can just now log in with their account and they'll be, be able to see this classroom. Um, last thing I want to show you is how to assign coding adventure assignments. So this is relevant and available for coding adventure and um, through our lessons tab, if you're not familiar with it, you can check out the short tutorial right here. Um, and each of coding adventure lesson plans, we have playtime. That's when after the introduction, usually um, you just let the students uh, play the, the relevant challenges. Um, and with your Google Classroom, you'll have this uh, yellow button here assigned to Google Classroom. Uh, basically, um, you can click on that and it will post an assignment um, for your students on Google Classrooms. So I want to quickly show you how it looks like um, on Google Classrooms. I'm in my um, teacher account here on Google Classroom. This is a Monday Classroom and here's the assignment I have assigned. Um, from Code Monkey and uh, basically clicking on it. Let's go to instructions. I can manage and edit it from Google Classroom um, right here. So I can um, add additional instructions. I can edit the title. I can add attachments um, and I can also give a due date or assign it to specific students. Basically, um, the students with this assignment, they get a link and the link would um, refer them to play the relevant challenges. And how would it look for the students? So I'm again in Google Classroom, just signed in as the student in Monday Classroom. And I can see here um, the new um, assignment that teacher has assigned to me. So by clicking on it, I'm in the assignment. I have here the link which will lead me to play the challenges. And once I'm done, maybe I wanna tell the teacher I'm done so I can either send a comment, um, class comments are private, and I can also mark the assignment as done. Um, and then the teacher would be able to see this on their Google Classrooms. This not, will not be reflected on Code Monkey. Last thing I want to show you is the student side on Code Monkey, and we've been getting at the questions about this. So, I'm a student in Monday classroom. My teacher um, let me know that I can now log into Code Monkey um, using my Google account. I'm in the login page. I'm going to click on Google, and then I just need to choose my Google account. So, clicking on that, and I'm redirected to Code Monkey. I can choose my avatar and I can start playing. Thank you for watching this demo. If you have any questions, please refer to our help center or send us a message at support at codemonkey.com.